Again! I won't let them. They should be given capital punishment. Why are you having a fit? It's so frustrating. Immediately after this big earthquake, fake news has been spreading again. I've had it. Of course, people who post fake news are the worst, but people who repost it are also at fault. Calm down, calm down. Please have some tea. In times of emergency like this, it is crucial to obtain accurate information as quickly as possible. Spreading fake information is the same as murder. Fake news spreads every time there is a natural disaster or a pandemic. What kind of false information has spread this time? <sighs> First, let me briefly talk about the earthquake. January 1st, 2024, at 6.10, on this auspicious day, the very beginning of a new year, a major earthquake occurred with its epicenter on the Noto Peninsula in Ishikawa Prefecture. Even after the first earthquake, there were hundreds of aftershakes. It was terrifying. This earthquake had a magnitude of 7.6 and a maximum seismic intensity of 7. The earthquake we experienced in Hokkaido a few years ago had a seismic intensity of 5 plus. Immediately after that, there was a power outage for two days. The earthquake occurred in September at that time. If it had happened in winter, it could be much worse. We might have frozen to death. Yes. Even the tremor at the time was so strong that it was hard to walk. So you can see how severe the recent Noto earthquake was. Many people were able to escape the tsunami through quick evacuation, but buildings collapsed, landslides, roads were cut off, and fires occurred, and the exact extent of the damage is still unknown. My heart breaks when I think about the people who are evacuating to evacuation centers during the new year. By the way, what kind of fake news was spread this time? As expected, the main medium for fake news is social media, X, formerly Twitter. Again? Many posts are posting as disaster victims, asking for donations. Is the usual fake news. I won't be fooled. They were also posts saying they were trapped in clasped houses. That's too bad. I have to go help quickly. Where should I go? The addresses posted were known existed locations. What? This is a serious situation as rescue operations in the disaster area are hindered. What a rude post! Aside from that, videos falsely tsunami shaming were also being circulated. Videos of the tsunami from the Great East Japan earthquake in the past were posting a current earthquake. Some images were created using AI. How vicious! A conspiracy theory was also spread. This earthquake was artificially caused. Give me a break. Again? This conspiracy theory keeps coming up. They were a post with baseless information about the situation at Hokuriku Electric Power's nuclear power plant too. The risk goes on and on. Regarding this false information, Japanese public broadcasters were warning people not be fooled. However, New fake news is coming out one after another. Immediately after an earthquake occurs, everyone is hungry for information, so it attracts particular attention. I've wondered all my life why some people do such bad things. For what? One reason would be for money. The more people see your post, the more impressions you get. This means that you will get advertising fees. Or it might be just a prank, or if it was something like a terrorist attacks on Japan. 
Do they have human hearts? What should I do? Once again, keep in mind that false information is more likely to spread during disasters. When many people seek information, it is also important not to spread it easily. Even if you come across information or videos that stir your emotions, it is necessary to be calm by checking government and news media information. Can't people who spread this kind of false information be punished? I thought the same way, but there is currently no law in Japan that punished the act of spreading false rumors. Is it free to spread rumors and fake news? This is because disseminating information falls under the freedom of expression guaranteed by the Constitution. It does not sit well with me. However, freedom of expression may not be lowered if it harms the rights of others. Let me give you an example. That post was made during the Kumamoto earthquake that occurred in April 2016. Hey, a lion was released from a zoo near my house because of the earthquake in Kumamoto. A photo of a scene from the movie was tweeted along with this sentence, and more than 20,000 people shared it. If you look carefully, you will see that the cityscape differs from Kumamoto. However, because it was posted during the chaos of the earthquake, many people came to believe it, right? Unfortunately, yes. Then the Kumamoto City Zoo received over 100 inquiries. It ended up in a situation where they had to explain that the information was false on the website. Even though they were so busy responding to the earthquake, it was a huge nuisance. Right. The poser was then arrested on charge of fraudulent business obstruction. In the end, the charges were dismissed, though. I believe people who spread fake news with malicious intent should be punished more severely. I agree with you. That being said, as long as we live in Japan, there is a possibility that an earthquake will occur. Since we Japanese people train and prepare for earthquakes from a young age, we can still say that the damage is kept to a minimum. But we need to be more educated about fake news. I think we should strengthen our response to false information from now on. I agree. Be wise and strong. <laughs>